Hi everybody, it's Banned Books Week. It's that time of year when we celebrate our freedom to read anything we want, even if it's one of those banned or challenged books that people are trying to keep off the shelves of the libraries and out of our school classrooms. I've just been rereading one of my favorites, and Tango Makes Three, which also happens to be one of the most challenged books of the past five years. What, you ask? This cute, charming little story about penguins is one of the most challenged books? Yeah, it is. And if you want to find out why it's so shockingly inappropriate, you'll just have to read it for yourself. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's a great story. Today, I'm going to read from one of my other favorite challenged books, Speak by Lori Hall Sanderson. This is my personally signed copy. The section I'm going to read from has the main character talking about her English teacher, who she calls Hair Woman because of her crazy hairdos. Hair Woman is torturing us with essays. Do English teachers spend their vacations dreaming up these things? The first essay this semester was a dud. Why America is great in 500 words. She gave us three weeks. Only Tiffany Wilson turned it in on time. But the assignment was not a complete failure. Hair Woman runs the drama club, and she recruited several new members based on their performances as to why they needed an extension. She has a warped sense of humor as well as a demented beautician. The next essay was supposed to be fictional. The best lost homework excuse ever in 500 words. We had one night. No one was late. I hope you're having a great band books week. I encourage you to head on into your school library or over to your local public library and ask them what they're doing for band books week. And while you're at it, go over to ALA.org and check out those lists of banned and challenged books. I think you'll be surprised to find some of your favorite titles on those lists. Keep reading, everybody, and have a great band books week.